Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing a few of my favorite products that I have replaced with something that I like more and or that I reach for more often. So I try to film these updates periodically. Oh my gosh, this hair, I've been trying to like slick it down, but it doesn't want to stay down. But I like to film these updates periodically because if there's something that I love and I find something that I love even more, of course I want to let you know about it. So we're going to be talking about favorites that I have replaced with a new favorite. My favorites that have been dethroned, shall we say. So if you're new here, my name is Kelly. I upload four videos a week all about beauty. I love talking about makeup mostly. I talk about skincare, hair care, and all that jazz as well, but mostly makeup here on this channel. And I have a special place in my heart for drugstore makeup. So if you are into any of the above, be sure to subscribe and let's go ahead and hop into it. Okay though, wait a second. In, was it my Monday video or my Tuesday video? I mentioned these little Essence palettes. These are their new six pans and you guys have been requesting that I test them out. So I've been trying to like work through the six pan so I can get a review up for you guys. And today I tried to do the I like to mauve it mauve it and I don't think I like this palette as much as I liked the green one that I was wearing in yesterday's video. If you missed that video, check it out. I wore another one of these Essence palettes. When I did the look initially, it was just pulling like so gray, like almost kind of muddy. I don't know. I think I need to try again with different a different placement with these, but I was not liking the look, so I dipped into a little bit of the uh Cinderella palette from Sigma. So, I am wearing a little bit of this purple one today. Was not obsessed with the look, but I feel like I sort of saved it. But yeah, I tried the purple one today. I don't think this is as good as the green one, but also purples are normally harder to formulate. Okay, I feel like I was looking bright. Turned down my brightness a little bit. Hopefully this is better. I wanna go in a random order today. Typically, I structure my videos similar to the order that I would apply makeup to my face, but let's switch it up today. Let's just go wild. I'm gonna start with a bronzer contour product. So. You guys know the Milk Makeup Cream Bronzer Stick has been a favorite of mine for a very long time. I've had this for like years. I wear the shade Baked and I still of course love this. When I apply this, I like to pick it up on a brush and kind of stipple it in. But lately, there is another cream slash liquid bronzer slash contour that I have been reaching for a ton. And it's interesting too because I've had this in my collection also for years and I never really reached for it until recently. And it's this. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer and I, this is just a shade that works as a contour for me. So I'm, I wear the shade Honey for this step. I, when this initially came out, I reviewed this like right when it launched. I didn't love it for contouring. It's extremely pigmented. So if you go in and you like do a bunch of stripes on your face, you apply a ton of product, it's going to be really hard to blend out. But recently I have been taking this and just applying like a dot, honestly, like just this much product, like right on each side of my cheek and then taking my sponge and blending it down. And it's so beautiful, it's so natural. And what's kind of nice, because this is a concealer, it also adds some coverage. So I have a little bit of scarring on my cheeks. So I feel like this, like where's the scarring? This is a full coverage concealer, best of both worlds. It blends out really, really well, but the key is you have to use practically nothing. And yet I have been liking this result more than this one. And I feel like this lasts a little bit better. The finish of this one is gonna be a little bit more dewy, whereas this sets down a little more natural matte, but I can't get over how much I have been reaching for this as a cream bronzer slash contour or liquid, all of the above. Milk bronzer stick, you have been replaced. One that I know you probably saw coming, these powders. So if you remember, the Bite Beauty Changemaker Powder has been a favorite for a long time. And then I talked about how I replaced it with the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. Still to these day, I think these are amazing powders. If you, rec or if you asked for a powder recommendation, I would say either of these. I still reach for them often. I still love them. But the powder that has taken the top spot for me lately, say it with me, it's the Kosas Cloud Powder. I'm so glad that I picked this up. So I wear the shade Breezy and this is a baked powder. There is one major downfall to this though and that's that it gets hard pan. So you can even see kind of along this edge of the powder, I do have a little bit of hard pan. I had more and then I took my, uh, like a piece of tape and applied that and took it off. If you use that trick, that'll kind of take off that top layer of hard powder or hard pan. 
Still though, you do end up wasting a little bit of product that way, so that's a bummer, but this powder, it's so lightweight. So here's the thing. It's not gonna be amazing to set down your product. So if you have oily skin and you want something to really lock it in, this might not be enough to do that on its own. However, I've had comments from a ton of you guys who say you have oily skin and this is still your favorite powder. So as long as you're not using it with the intent of it, like completely locking it in and lasting all day, if you're kind of using this for a beautiful setting powder, do a little bit of finishing with it, I think it would work well for a lot of skin types. Like I said, I've had you guys that have oily skin, dry skin, all across the board. A lot of you guys have told me that you love it also. It just looks so natural, so diffused. It blurs out your pores. Whenever I feel like I'm having a bad makeup day or like my blush or bronzer is looking a little bit patchy or something, I will take a giant fluffy brush, dust into this and tap it over and I'm like, hmm, fixed, good as new. That's all I had to do. Also these earrings, they make a lot of sound and I keep um, looking at my mic to see if it's picking up my earring sound. It might be, but they're very cute. Okay, a primer replacement. This, you guys know how much I love the Ordinary High Adherence Silicone Primer. This is $5, it's fantastic, it's smoothing, it's gripping, it's slightly moisturizing, it's amazing. I actually don't have a lot of this left and I'm trying to use it up and I still highly recommend this one. But I recently discovered this one based on a subscriber recommendation and it has knocked my socks off. This is the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer. So this is a different texture than the one from The Ordinary. Let me kind of put them side by side. So this is more of a gel, whereas this is more of a cream. So you can see this is The Ordinary, this is the Hard Candy one. The Hard Candy one does such a good job at gripping onto my makeup that when I first tested this out in a video, you guys saw I did a half and half on my face, like I had it on one side and not on the other. And I mentioned in the video that the side that had this looked like it had better coverage to it because I feel like it just grips onto things so well. It sits more smooth on the skin. It lasts so much longer. Like it just does such a good job gripping products. I don't often feel like primer does a ton. I know, I know, I, I don't always feel like it does, but these two, these two, under $10 drugstore options make a huge difference. And this used to be my tip top, but now it's this. Like honestly, I could keep these and get rid of all my other primers and I would be set, but this is my new tip top favorite. All right, if you have been here for a few years, you've probably heard me talk about this lipstick. And it's probably a good thing that this has been replaced by something else because this is not even available anymore, but this is the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in Stark Naked. This is the old Vice lipstick formula. They actually just redid it. I think the new ones are good, but I really loved the old one. I loved the old formula like just a hair more, but this is the shade Stark Naked. It's my perfect nude. I rave about this. I have loved this for years and years and years. Now, you know, this a while ago, I felt like I replaced this with one from the lip bar and it was the shade Baby Bellini, which is super similar. Like, I think that's a good dupe. If you love this color, but you can't get it now that it's discontinued, I would check out Baby Bellini. The undertone is not quite as warm and the finish is a little bit more satin as opposed to matte, but they're very similar. Like the effect, very similar. But lately, my go-to everyday lip color, my most reached for lipstick has not been this, it has been this. And the tone is actually very different, but this is the Bite Lip Crayon in the shade Sugar Cane. So you can see they're actually pretty different. This is very much a pink based nude, whereas the other one is a little more like a yellowy brown. Um, depth wise, they're pretty similar, but this is just a lot more pink. Now this on its own can be a little bit light for me. So I'm typically pairing this with a lip liner that is slightly darker. But this is my perfect everyday lip color. I feel so beautiful whenever I wear this lip. And for years, I've struggled to find a lip color that's a good undertone for my cool toned, colorful eyeshadow looks. So if I'm wearing like a blue look like I'm wearing today or a purple look or a very cool toned pink look, I've always struggled to find the right lip because sometimes if I wear something like this, it's too warm. Or if I wear something too pink, it's like too much going on. This is perfect because it's a nude with a slightly pinky undertone to it. It looks great with pretty much any lip but or any eye, but especially if you're doing cool toned colorful eyeshadow looks or even like gray looks and you don't know what to pair it with, 
but sugar cane will be your best friend. I have used a lot of this up and I still have a lot of it left. Like that's how much I have left and this is the most used lip color in my collection right now. It's just so beautiful. Okay, brows. I have been a lover of the Essence Make Me Brow for so long. Basically since I've started my channel and I don't have it in my collection at the moment, but I have repurchased that at least half a dozen times, but not anymore because now I have found my new favorite brow gel. And a lot of you guys have told me the same thing that that Essence one was your favorite too until you discovered this one and now it's your new favorite. And obviously I'm talking about the e.l.f. Wow Brow. This is so good. So this is kind of similar to that Essence Make Me Brow, but this I would say deposits even more into your brows. Like it deposits more fiber, so I feel like it really fluffs up the brow even more. So if you're like myself and your natural brows are pretty sparse and pretty thin, this it does such a great job bulking them up, kind of cheating to give you a full brow effect. Now, the wand is slightly different than the Essence one. This is definitely a larger wand for a brow gel compared to the Essence one, which is super, super tiny and precise. Also though, this has a really good amount of pigment to it and it's not too wet. That was always my thing with the Essence Make Me Brow. It's a very, very wet formula, so I felt like it wouldn't hit its prime until a month or two in. Whereas this formula, it's not dry, but it's not as wet as that Essence one. So I feel like from the second you open the tube, it works well. And again, the price tag's pretty similar to the Essence one, also very affordable. Let me know if you guys have replaced any of your favorite products recently, or if you've tried any of the ones I mentioned in today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, be sure to subscribe, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.